but here in python it's not like that directly you are not declaring your variable directly you are assigning your data yes ma'am and based on that data whatever you are assigning based on that it will define this variable with that kind of object yes ma'am correct yes ma'am like uh, space deletion and all uh, like some memory manager will take care no ma'am ha huh, that's what like everything we are not taking yeah. care about like uh, memory management the uh, like some ha uh, ma'am was asking this no like particular name for that ma'am what what particular name for for memory allocation and deletion that is automatic na you can ma'am that's that. memory manager no ma'am in that uh, 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 like heap space or oh, something yes ma'am heap space okay uh but if heap space uh, she was asking and i didn't know that ma'am uh, but i read it before see, see whatever that she was asking that is like one kind of general knowledge yes ma'am if you are going for c interview also they will ask about this memory management Yes, ma'am. Let's say you are writing any code. Where it will be? In, In which memory. memory it will be? Memory means what? Like, just a second. Let me share the page in front of you. Okay, ma'am. Ah. Uh, just a second okay what about others karuna sir ma'am uh, how was yesterday's recap nice ma'am oh really i didn't prepare ma'am very good why that was our fault now that was not your fault correct why yeah. you people did not prepare Uh, day before yesterday, I was busy. And... Great. Now, if you people are uh, performing like this, you know, like everything will come on me now. Like you did not explain well. You did not thought well. What I should answer for this question now? All of you. Hmm. What I should answer for this question? Like I did not taught you well. No, I did not solve your doubts. No, ma'am. Radhika, Punit, Vamshi. Now I need answer for this question first. Hmm. You people are knowing how much marks you people got in your viva. Almost everyone below fifty, other than Jason. What's the reason behind this? First of all, daily Jason is attending the lab as well as uh, all the classes. i did not found any one of you who is saying like ma'am i don't understand this one repeat it or ma'am i did not understood i am getting this error i did not got message from any one of you other than jos so now onwards what i should do should i give you time for your lab or not punit karunakar radhika vamshi all of you are asking now what you people are thinking what is your lab timing joseph lab timing is there ah yes ma'am yes yes ma'am you are getting enough like whatever you are not understanding are you getting everything yes ma'am yes ma'am here like faculties are there to 
clear your doubts. But the thing is, you should be there to attend your lab session. And every time, even I'm also saying like, okay, you can share the question first to uh, your lab faculty if it is there. If they are unable to help you, come to me. Even I'll also solve your doubts. Then why you people are not coming to us and you are not saying like, ma'am, we are having this doubt or sir, we are having this doubt. Now today only if you people will not ask, when you will ask, let me know after completion of this course, who will respond you for that? Now you are doing this course in that duration only you are not clearing your doubts. What do you think after completion of this course, how you will be clear with your uh, this subject? One day, one person will attend, one day they will not attend, that is what? And daily 2.30 classes there, everyone is knowing like 2.30 classes there. Why every day like I have to wait for 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes? Everyone is knowing, right? Like 2.30 classes there. Why I should write in group again and again, like join class now, again join class now. If you will come by time, if you will attend your class, at least you will be able to understand the topic. Or if you are having doubts in the beginning or at the end of the class, at least you can ask that one. And if I'm giving test paper, why I should ask you again and again, like complete your test now? Now onwards, make sure like every one of you are logged in with this class by 2.30. I want everyone here on this call. Okay. And no one will miss their lab. Puneet, Radhika, Vamshi, Karunakar, for all of you, I'm saying this. Because that lab time is not your free time. All of you are getting it, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come for the lab and clear your doubts there only. And from the day one, I am saying whatever the assignments you people are doing, just try to send it in group. What about that? Why I am saying that statement? Just let me know at the end of the day how many of you are trying whatever I am explaining in class. Whatever we are explaining, that is not for us. That is for you. If you feel like you people are feeling like, yes, you should go through this all things, go through that or else we don't have any issue with that. Screen is visible for you people. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, today we'll try to understand about sockets. Socket means what, first of all? In your home, do you have a socket? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'
Anywhere have you seen socket? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, where it will be? It will be on switchboard, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. What that socket will do? With the help of socket, you can transfer the electricity, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. To charge your mobile, you will be having socket from that socket. You will connect charger and yes, you can do that. Like, yes, your mobile will get charged. You will get power supply for any of the hardware or anything, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, socket means what? Like, yes, I can say like one kind of uh, mechanism by which we can transfer the data. Or else I can say like, yes, we can do some communication between two endpoints. So, let's try to understand first of all. Here in Python also to do the network programming, we'll be having socket communication. And yes, we can have different kinds of uh, communication. It can have like different protocols also. I think you people might be knowing about TCP, UDP, FTP, HTTPS. Yes? Yes, ma'am. So whatever these protocols are there, how it will work actually? If I'm saying HTTP or HTTPS, okay, or else like FTP. So everywhere, yes, we will be having one server and we'll be having one client. client. Yes? Yes, ma'am. I can say this is endpoint one. This is endpoint two. two. Now, this server and client can run in the same system also, in the same process also, in two different systems also. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. I can say like in one system, server is running. In another system, client is running. Okay. Even it is, it is possible in one single system only, we are having one server process and we can have one client process also. Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So what server will do? Let's say uh, you want to search something on Google. Okay. Let's say you want to uh, search like, okay, Python related material. You are searching for Python. Okay. So first of all, if you will search for Python in Google, what will happen? You are one kind of client, correct? And you are requesting from the server, like I want some information on Python. So yes, server will be having some information about it and server will respond you for that. Yes or no? Yes, so this is what? Communication between server and client. Yes. But yes. before doing this, first of all, you were searching for Python, right? Where you are searching? In the client. Google. Google. Means from the client side, you will open your Chrome and in that you will write like, okay, you will open like google.com and in that you will search like, okay, I want some information on Python. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So first of all, you should be knowing to whom you can ask something. To whom you can ask for the help or from where you want to request something. Suppose if you are not understanding anything in Python, you will come to me or you will go to Sudhakar sir. Correct? Yes. Same way like here also, whenever client wants to connect with server, first of all, they should have server's IP. Now, if I'm talking about IP, that means what? This client and server both should be in one common network. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. If they are in network, then only they will be having IP1 and IP2. Yes or no? Yes. Let's say like one server is there. That server is having one IP, let's say like 192.168 dot uh, one dot 25 okay now i'm saying this is your client and that client also it is connected to internet that means it will be having one 
IP address, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, 192.168.1. Let's say 29. Yes or no? Yes, so this ma both systems are in one single network, and because of that, they are having IP address for them. And if you are having this IP address, can we do the communication between these two systems? Yes, we can do. Yes or no? Yes, With the help of this IP address, yes, we can do some communication. Now, whenever client wants to try with, like, when uh, client wants to connect with any of the server, first of all, it has to mention, like, to whom they want to connect. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Correct? So, first of all, like, server should announce its own IP address like okay my name is this one my IP address is this one and I I am uh, like uh, giving you the option like okay if you want to connect with me use this IP address and they will give some four digit port number so they are saying like, if you want to connect with me, use this IP address and use this port number, something like this. And whenever clients wants to connect with that server, they have to pass the server's IP address and the port number which server has given. Like that, this communication will happen. Okay. So once they are getting connected, yes, after that they can send requests, they can uh, like serve for that. So different communications can happen after that. But first of all, they have to connect with each other. Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. So first of all, let's try to understand here, like what we'll be having here to do the socket programming. First of all, whatever this socket programming is that, that is bi-directional communication channel. Socket means what? Sockets are the endpoints of a bi-directional communication channel. Why it is bi-directional? Even server, here it is server and here it is client. Even client also can send the data data server also can server send also data. can send the data at a time like they both can send or receive the data correct so it is what bi-directional communication channel so socket is what socket is one kind of end point of bi-directional communication channel yes channel, that's right. huh. yes okay now socket may communicate within a process that means only one single process is there inside that process first i am uh, writing some server program and in the same one i am writing one client program so both the different things i am trying to do in one single process okay that is also possible if you are knowing about linux and all you will be knowing about it next is between processes on the same machine. That means one machine we are having. In that one process is there and another process and one more process is there. I'm saying like in this process, server will run and in this process, client will run. Yes, that is also possible. Or between processes on different machine. That means like here you are having one machine another machine machine means what laptop or pc whatever it is okay so here two different systems are there and you are saying here server will run and here client will run yes that is also possible are you getting it yes or no yes so to, to work with the socket programming we are having socket module, socket library in Python. Like how you are having math module. Correct. Same way you are having socket module in Python. To do the communication or to make that socket communication, 
between two system or two end points or whatever it is. Yes. So related to socket programming, whatever the function, methods, classes you want, that everything you will get inside this socket model. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let's try to understand here. First of all, we have to import socket. And inside that socket, you will be having everything, right? I said method. Let's come to this one. Let's first try to understand like what we are having in that socket. Let me show you import socket. If I'll import any socket, can I get that variable name or attribute name in my namespace? Yes. With the help of dir function, I'll get to know like, okay, yes, that name yes, I'm having here or not. Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. Yes, now I want to check inside this name, what and all I'm having. That means inside this module, whatever they have defined, I want to check that one. How I can check it? I have to yeah, write here socket. dir of bracket. Socket. Correct? If I'll hit enter here, you can see like so many different things are there. Yes, Correct. It is not like, yes, everyone will try to understand here. No. But everyone is knowing how to get help. Yes, ma'am. Yes or no? Now I am saying we want to talk about inside this socket, we are having something called this socket. Okay. That means what? I want to get help for socket dot socket. So what it will do? Even that also you will get here with the help of that, what you can do, everything you will get here. Yes, what it is saying help on class socket in socket module. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So whatever this one you are able to see, that is one kind of class. And whatever you have written here, that is what? That is? Module. Module. Correct? And here they are giving it is one kind of class. Everyone is knowing now what is class? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Everyone is knowing how to define class now. Yes, ma'am. Correct? Now, here they are saying like what you can do with the help of this, what methods you can use. Like everything they have mentioned here, see. This is what? This all things are what? This is some kind of method. See, very first yes, argument self. you are having self. self. From day one, I'm saying like how you will get to know. How you will get to know? Mm -hmm. With the help of that first object only, you will get to know like what kind of method it is. It is method or it is function like that? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, Okay. After that, here you are having like some different properties. Okay. What kind of properties you are having? You are having one address family, first of all. Family argument will be there. Where you will get that one? Just look into this. Yes. Very first argument, what you are having here? Family. Family. So family means what? They are giving you information here. What is that? Address family. Read only access to the address family for this socket. That means what? It is something like what kind of uh, like address you are using. Like previous versions was having like two, uh, two different formats. Okay. It was like Unix format was there and it was having IPv4 also. Okay. But nowadays, anyone is going for Unix format? No, no one is going for that. Why? Because now everywhere we are having internet and because of that, we are having IPv4 address and we are using that address family. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So from where you will get like, what are the names you will be having for that address family? Just come for this. Here you will be having AF underscore 
I N E T. E T. This one. Yes. Other than that, also like you are having so many different formats. Okay. But that we are not using here. What for TCP and UDP? What socket address family we are using? We are using AF underscore INET, something like that. Yes, are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Next it is. Where it went? Okay. Here it is having type. Now, what kind of communication you are having? What is the type of that communication? So, how you will get to know that one type means what? Read only access to the socket oh, type. Socket type. Socket type means what? What types can be there? So it can be TCP or it can be UDP. TCP means what? Anyone of you are knowing the difference between TCP and UDP? TCP. No one is knowing? No, madam. At least full form? Uh, transfer. No one is knowing. Yes or no? Transfer control. Transfer control protocol. Uh, uh, Use yeah. user data protocol and then over transmission control protocol. Transmission control protocol, correct. Then UDP means user uh, user, user data protocol. gram protocol. Oh, user data gram protocol. Correct. Okay. Now anyone is knowing about connection oriented and connection less protocol. Yes or no? <laughs> Okay, let's try to understand first what is TCP, what is UDP. It is actually just a second. I hear what? Hmm. Okay. First of all, TCP means what? I can say like TCP means yes, we are knowing now like transmission control protocol, and this one is what user datagram protocol. Correct. TCP is doing first connection in between server and client that means like connection is required so here it is what connection oriented protocol and here whenever we are saying udp udp means what user yeah. data gram protocol user data gram protocol and for that connection, connection is not required so i can see like connection less protocol correct yes ma'am okay now tell me one thing if connection is there means we can send the acknowledgement yes or no yes ma'am yes so here acknowledgement can be there okay but here connection is not there then how we will get acknowledgement so here for udp no acknowledgement. Yes. If acknowledgement is there, means our data will be uh, like perfect one. Correct. No loss of data because suppose any packet lost, then yes, we can request it again because we are having acknowledgement here. Correct. Yes, sir. But yes, let's say connection is not there. Even no one is there to give any feedback. No one is there to say like, no, we did not got this package very well. Then <clears throat> loss of data will be there. Yes, or yes, no? yes ma'am. Yes, ma yes. So yeah. data will not be the perfect one. It can have like loss of data. Loss of data. Yes or no? Mm. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, TCP means transmission control protocol and UDP means user, user data, data gram, gram protocol. protocol. TCP is connection oriented. UDP is connection less protocol. In TCP, we will be having acknowledgement. acknowledgement. 
Yeah, yeah no acknowledgement. After that, data will be the perfect one. No loss of data, but here loss of data will be there. Clear with that? Yes. So first of all, like here in uh, like this socket communication, they are asking what kind of socket communication you want to do TCP or UDP. That means like connection oriented or connection less or like uh, protocol. Connection oriented. Yes, both you can do here. We'll try to understand that both we can do. Okay, okay. without acknowledgement also you can send the information and with acknowledgement also you can. Yes, so this can be the argument like family can be address, family can be what? INET, correct? I -N -E -T. And type can be TCP or UDP. TCP but or UDP. For that, we are having some particular names here inside socket module for like IPv4 address. You are having what address family name? AF yeah. underscore yeah. INET. INET. Correct. For Unix, you will be having AF underscore UNIX. Correct. Correct. Yes, but now this one is not available. Okay, now only this one we are having. Okay. And whatever the socket type is there, what kind of socket type will be having? If it is connection oriented, that means if it is TCP, TCP. communication, TCP. then you have to give this name. Inside socket, socket we will be having socket underscore stream. stream. Correct. If it is connectionless protocol, then it is called UDP communication. And at that time, inside socket module, you are having SOC underscore DG. -gram. Or you can say like datagram. Data yes? yes Clear with that? This yes. both variable names where you are having inside? In the type. So the type. Inside socket module socket module this names where you will be having inside your socket module okay. for what purpose you have to use this name Sorry. if it is okay. connection oriented okay. then you have to use this one if it is connection less Unless. then you have to use data gram clear with that yes, yes. okay now, next argument, whatever you will be having, even they have not given the specific information there. See here. We don't have any information about rest two arguments. So, yes, like in future, they will add something there. Okay. Yes. So, now, like, we are not worrying about, like, what we have to pass here for this two arguments. Okay. So, now, anyhow, they have given what? default argument they have given here minus one here they have given none okay so we should not worry about that because everyone is doing default argument function right yes ma'am yes by default it will take that data yes ma'am yes okay so we need to worry about this argument family correct which family we are using and what is the type of communication yes ma'am clear with this okay fine yes, let's come back to this page Yes, so inside socket module, we will be having socket class. And when you are creating object for that socket class at that time, you have to pass the argument here. Just come to this and just try to understand what are the functions you will be having in TCP socket communication in server side and client side. You can see here like some blocks I have given and where I have mentioned first which function should we, uh, we should call and which functions will be on server side and which functions will be on client side. Client side. Correct. Yes, Try to right. analyze whatever the block diagram I have given here. And after that, we will start the talk. Yes. Just analyze this one first. And if you people are having your laptop with you, just go through that socket module. So you will understand like, okay, what names we are having there to work with this functions. 
do we have this functions anywhere in that module just try to get it out yes yes ma'am i'm giving you 5 minutes everyone just go through that once okay so just look at this one now tell me both the side which function we are having first both the side which function we are having first socket 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 correct so yes both the side we have to initiate with that socket okay. see i'll say socket is one function now because like yes we are happy like we are having that habit where we, where we will see this bracket we will say that is one kind of function correct but actually what it is now you people understood like first we are having socket module correct yes, socket module is there and inside that module we are having socket class actually yes, yes or no correct so we are having what socket class class and we are trying to create one object for that class something like that a it is something like you are defining class a okay and here you will be having some definition and you are defining one object for obj1 for class a you will write like this yes or no yes or no Yeah, every one of you are remembering class and object concept. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So now here, this socket is what? Socket is one kind of module. class inside socket module. Module. Class. Correct. So module. we are creating first socket object. Now. check it out do you have any bind method inside that module where will check uh, i think i have closed that one let's start again this one i'm saying like here if we'll import that socket if i write dir socket dot socket okay see here do you have any bind method here yes ma'am yes we are having it correct yes ma'am so yes we are having this bind method now i am saying i don't know how to use this bind how you will get to know how you will get Hel to know 
लोकल एड्रेस For IP sockets, the address is pair of host and port number. Are you understanding what they have mentioned there? What it is saying here, you have to use bind this function, to... right? Bind, and here you have to pass the address. But what do you mean by address? They are saying address is a address is a pair of Host, host and the port number. Correct. So first of all, what is your local address for that server? That is the host IP address. It will be correct. So you That's need to pass that IP address, and then what you have to pass here? Port. Port, port number. Port number means what? Like by which port number they can enter to this socket. Yes. So yes. first of all, with the help of bind function, in short, like I can say, with the help of bind function, server will announce its own IP address and the port number in tuple format. Are you getting my point? Yes. We'll try to understand here. Okay. So with the help of bind, what will happen? Server will announce its own IP address and the port number. Correct? Yes. Okay. And that will be in form of tuple. And whatever this IP address will be, then that you need to give in string format, and the port number should be in integer format. Okay. Okay. Next is what? Listen. Listen. So what this listen function will do? With the help of listen function, the server will enable with listen functionality. That means what? Now server can wait for the customer, like client. Whenever right. client will try to connect, okay, server will check whether it is having space to connect with that client. Yes, it will connect. Okay. But let's say like server has to decide like how many clients can connect at a time with me. So for that, in this listen function, we have to pass the sign. Let's say in this function sign if I write three, that means what? Three the clients. The server can connect with three clients at a time. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, every one of you. Pune, Joseph, Radhika. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Now, here next, what function we are having? Accept. 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 Now, what do you mean by this accept function? Uh, server is ready to accept the client. Yes. So first of all. Like server is going for listen mode, correct? Yes, ma'am. Now after this accept function, now it is waiting for the connection from the connection client. request from the client. So client. that means whatever the client program you are writing already, you have created socket there, correct? You have created socket object that side. Whatever the next function we are having on client side, connect function. Now, before understanding this, we need to understand what is this function. With the help of this function, client is saying, "I want to connect with one server whose IP address is this one, and I want to connect with one port number." 
what ip address and port number client has to write here whatever server has announced that same ip address and port number client has to write in connect function in the tuple format an ip address will be in string format port will be in integer integer correct port number can be any four digits everyone is clear with this yes ma'am ma'am yes ma'am ma first of all this server is saying like this is my ip address and the port number whoever wants to connect they have to use this ip address and port number port number correct yes, that the server is writing in bind function after that server is listening how many clients it can listen at the time three yes, only so, three like whatever you are passing inside that bracket that many clients can connect at a time to this server yes, correct yes ma'am you are writing 10 then yes it can connect to 10 if you are writing 15 it can connect to 15 yes yes ma'am okay next is what here will be having except function now before understanding this except first we need to understand like client side we will be having connect function yes, so what client has to write inside this with the help of this connect what client is trying to say yes. client is saying i want to connect with one server whose ip address is this one and port number is and this. port number i want to use this one like that yeah. and whatever you are passing here in this tuple format that should be same as what server as has announced here yes ma'am okay are you getting my point yes or no yes ma'am yes, here if i am writing 192.168.24 and here i am writing double two double five correct then same thing i should pass here yes ma'am ip address should be in string format format port will be in integer in integer four digit integer number okay everyone is clear with that yes ma'am yes, ma yes now when client is trying to connect client uh, client is sending one connect request here correct yes ma'am so if server is not exceeded this three number that means let's say like server is having now no client has connect that means like yes three places are empty only correct yes ma'am yes so yes places are okay then it will allow this client to connect with establish this. connection yes ma'am correct yeah. so this connection will get established between client and, and server. the server everyone is clear yes ma'am yes so let's say like this space was empty so yes this client can connect with the server let's say now all spaces are full and one more connect request is coming now do you have any space here no ma'am no then it will not accept that everyone is clear yes ma'am yes now whenever server is accepting this connection at that time it will return two things what it will return it will return two things what is that first it will return the object for that particular client and another thing will be the ip address and the port number pair of that particular client are you getting my point yes or no yes ma'am yes what it will return what this method will return it object and uh... first of all object new object for that particular client mm. and then ip address and the port number pair of that particular client everyone is clear yes ma'am okay now connection established uh, like connection uh, got established yes uh, the ip address and the port number are different ma'am ip address yes. and port number both things are different okay 
Uh, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Actually, in the bind function, uh, we have established some IP address and port number, no, ma'am. This is not established. Is... This is not established. This is server is saying my IP address is this one and port number you have to use this one to connect Same with idea. me. So my IP address and port number will be uh, delivered to client, ma'am, here? No. Now here, what port number will be there? First of all, like this IP address and port number, this is what client IP address and port number is there. Okay. Here, whatever you are writing, that it is saying that I want to connect with this IP address with this port number. Okay, ma'am. Okay, but here whatever you will get that you will get this client's IP address. Let's say server IP address is 192.168.1.24. Correct. Yes. And let's say here you are having 1.29. Okay, so right. what IP address you will get there? So, uh, 29 you will get. I means 1.29 whatever it is there, that you will get. Right. And it is possible like client has used some other port from their side. Okay. That means what here like you can get any port number. It is not fixed like whatever you are passing here. Yes. Everyone is clear with that? Yes ma'am. So it will return the client's IP address ma'am. Yes. Client side no. IP address. Okay. Okay. So like yeah. first ob ob object name for the client and then the IP address and port number pair. Correct. No. Yes. It, it is written by the uh, server only to the client. It is written by this accept function. Uh -huh. Accept okay. method. Accept method. Okay. Clear with that? Yes ma'am. Okay. Now once connection got established, after that what? Mm. I do the communication eh? if yes, someone ma wants to send the data okay you send I'll receive yes, or else like I'll um, send you yes. receive yes, over yes, everyone is getting it yes, okay. whenever you want to send some data obviously that data will be in string format you will send some string data there correct and now whatever the new python versions are there they are saying whenever you are sending the data you have to encode it is done. receiving that Decoded. we have to decode it. Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And in receive function, whoever is having receive function, they have to fix the size. Like how many bytes of data you want to receive. That many bytes of data only I'll receive. Like that is. Like okay. from here, I'm saying hello, how are you? So many things I'll share from here. But I am saying I want to receive only two bytes of data. Then I will read only two bytes of data here. Are you yes, getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, we will receive yes, only two bytes of data. That's it. Same way like from here we are sending something by encoding. Here this side it is possible how much I want. Like let's say five bytes of data I want. Okay, I will write five in that bracket. Are you getting my point? Yes, yes. Yes, everyone is clear with that. Ma'am? Ma'am? Huh? Yes. In the server side, we are receiving only two bytes of data, no, ma'am? Huh? Uh, then how it will uh, send uh, five bytes of data to client, ma'am? No, that is your choice. Now, how many bytes of data? Let's say here, like one full paragraph or one of one, not two, four bytes of data I want to send from here. Okay, okay from the server side. Okay, one full paragraph I want to send. But that is client wish now how many bytes of data they want to receive. Yes, ma'am. Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. Everyone got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ma yeah. yes, ma right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So this is what we were having that was TCP socket communication. And yes, one more thing. If you want to close the communication at the end, you will be having close function. Okay. Madam, any acknowledgement, ma'am? Yes, see, for acknowledgement and all, you are having so many functions here, Radhika. Okay. 
so if you want like you can go through that all functions but yes like we need this much only okay first of all like with the help of what functions they are binding listening accepting they are, how we can send the data so many other things also you are having so how you will get to know that one how you will get to know that one like how i have checked this one correct same mm. way just go for that dir and in that so many different functions are there methods are there with the help of help function you will get like okay for acknowledgement do i have anything what i can use everything you will get there okay yes okay now just look at this program just now whatever i explain almost everything you will get here okay just analyze for 2 minutes try to understand this is one python program only correct whatever the function i said whatever the method name i said that same method we have used here okay now just understand only one thing that is if you will not pass here in this object creation whenever you are creating object that time if you are not passing anything here by default it will take ipv4 address family okay and by default it will go for tcp communication okay, okay. and try to analyze this program okay. yes you are having 2 minutes of time just try to understand that
Okay, so what you understood with this example? Ma'am. Yes. In the server side, first it is importing its socket. Yes. And then creating an you know, object for that socket class. Correct. And then uh, it is uh, giving uh, creating address for that uh, socket object. See, it is not creating. Okay. First Sorry. of all, here you will be having the IP address for that server. Yes, host, host IP address. The host IP address, port address number. already you will be having. How you will yeah. get that one? If you will go for command prompt and if you will write IP address, IP config. If you will write IP config, you will get the IP address of your system yes, in Windows. Correct. So this one, and this one will be fixed. And here that is your choice. What port number? Which is our wish? That is port number. Number. And that is in form of integer. Tub. Means Tub. port number is integer. This IP address in string, but this pair will be in form of tuple. tuple. And inside this function, you are passing that tuple. Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next, what it is? It is saying that uh, server is ready to accept a five clients at a time. Ah. Five at so a time. more than five, it will come then? No, ma'am. No. Oh, okay. Let's say like five five places are there. Let's say like this, uh, this place is not empty, this place is not empty, this place is not empty, this place is not empty. Even this is also not empty. All are like full. Okay. Now if some request is coming, what will happen? It will be connection will be denied. Correct. It is denied. Connection will be denied. Okay. Let's say whenever like it is coming, at the time this space is getting empty. Now... Yes, now, yes, it will take this space. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Are you getting my point? Yes. Okay. Now, this is what? While loop. While loop true. While empty. true means what? Condition is true. Condition is Always true. Always it is. Always the condition is true. Correct. That is like while one. Correct. Yes, okay. ma'am. Now, here what we are doing? Accepting. So here just we are using that method correct so what will happen whenever client request is coming it will accept if size whatever it is mentioned here if in that size any place is empty correct yes okay it will accept that one whenever it is accepting what it will return it will return two things correct what is that when the object first of the is the client object the, for that particular client and then and the, the address IP and address IP and the address port number and pair the port number port pair number. correct yes, yes or no yes, so it will be having that information so here this is the new object for that particular client and this is what IP address, IP address and the port number it will go in one variable that is this one. Oh. So all of you are clear? Ma'am, first C is the object name and the second one is the IP address and the port. IP address port number pair. Address means what? First only uh. we understood like in uh, socket programming address means what? It will be the Pair IP. of IP address ah. and the port number. Correct. Port yes. Okay. So here, see, this both are like variable names only, object name only, whatever you want, you can use here. It is not like you have to use A, D, D, R only. Okay. No. Okay. That is like a random variable, like how you are taking OBJ1, OBJ2, like that. Clear with that? Okay. Ma okay. So now here we are having this object for the particular client. And this is the client's IP address and the port number pair. Yes, Correct. Yes, so we are saying like got connection from which client? Whatever this we are getting that we are printing here. Are you yes. getting my point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is what? Ma'am, here uh, server is printing the address, ma'am. Uh, on server uh. command prompt, like where you are running server program, okay? On yes, the same prompt, it will uh, print you like, okay, we got connection from this client, like what that. Connection from, uh, okay, okay, ma'am. 
so in the accept function it will be there no ma'am so oh. accept function will return the name object name and the this one address pair. address pair. yes ma'am so that's what like we are printing here yes. got it no, no. everyone and how it takes that uh, order ma'am see let's say you are having one function definition okay if you write def uh let's say like kelsey correct yes, here if you are having x comma y two values you are passing correct yes if i'll write here return and after that i'll write like x plus y comma x minus y comma x multiply by y so it will be in order yes or no yes ma'am correct so same way like they are writing in that definition what they are writing first they are saying like return the object and then return the address address okay. address got it now yes sir yes okay now next thing is what yes okay server side we are printing like we got connection from this client like that correct yes, now sir. from server to that particular client we are sending some message now you just look into this i have not used s i have used what c C dot. C dot. C by C. Object name. Because like here, new object for that particular client. What we are having. That's right. C. So that's what I am using here. Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. C, C dot. dot send. So now I'm saying, let's say like here, this is one server. Okay. And here we can have like different clients. Correct. This is. This is client one. This is client two. This can be client three. Correct. Now this one is got connected with this server. That means okay, this connection is there. Let's say like one more client is connecting. Okay, one object will be for that also. One more client is there. Okay, one object for that client also. Now everyone is knowing in class for any class if I'll create object, they'll be having the separate copy yes or no. Yes, so they will not like uh, like mash up. No, it won't happen because they all are having their own separate copy. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So now even here also they are having their own object. So they will not get confused. I am saying like where you want, where you have to send the message. Whatever this object came, whatever the address is there for that object, you need to send some. Data for that object. Let's say like this one we are having. So here only I want to send the data. Next time here only I want to date send data. Next time I want to send data here only. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So all object like all client will be having their own object. Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is saying like okay, I want to send this message. So this thank you for connecting. It will come to the client. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. After encoding, it will send that data. Dot encoders. Okay. Correct. Okay. Now, ma'am, why I have written this? Ha. Huh. Uh, why we have written encoder of ASCII, ma'am? Ha. Huh. So first of all, here, why it is encoded? Because <coughs> encryption. Because we have to encode our data. Okay, now because of all securities and all, they'll say like in new versions, you have to use encode whenever it is connection oriented protocol. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we are writing here encode. Okay, we are encoding our string. Fine. By what technique we are encoding? That is ASCII. ASCII. In place of that, it will it can have like UTF-8 also. Different formats can be there. I think UTF-8 to you people might be knowing. Whenever you will use Notepad, na? Here, can you see this one? Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is what. Like for yes. each and every character, you will be having some format to write it. You will be having some Unicode for that. Okay. Okay. So here, like different techniques can be there to encode your data. Okay. So here, what you are using? You are using ASCII technique. 
if you want you can use utf8 or whatever other techniques if you are free. it will encode the data in that format in that format correct okay See, if you are encoding in this format that means whoever is the client they have to decode with the same technique yes ma'am yes now see here in this client program first you are importing the module okay we are creating the object okay here we are trying to send one connect request what we are writing here server side so, and format and it is number. the port number what server has given and that should be tuple, tuple format correct yes ma'am now server is sending this message that means client has to receive that message correct so here i am writing s dot here object name is what yes s s dot receive how many bytes of data i want to receive 10 ma'am here ma'am like uh, object name should be see no ma'am no that should be in server side for uh, client also what because I server mean? is giving to client ma'am i did not said like server is giving to client what i said it returns server side accept will return that uh, object uh, name and the object name. To the client correct but from client side what it is from client mm. side it is same thing only right okay okay here we don't have like other object we are having one object here no yes, one is returning extra object here okay are you getting my point yes ma'am there whatever accept function was there okay that was returning new object for that client okay but here no one is returning new object for that server ah uh, okay are you getting my point ah uh, yes ma'am yes, yes ma okay so now here with the help of this one what client has done client is sending the request to the server, server. which server this server mm, yes, totally. and they are saying yes we are coming from the port number what you are saying correct yes, yes or no yes, so yes from now now from here it will send the request to the server now what yes, server has to do server, server is will accepting Yes. Uh, and they are returning this two data correct yes ma'am yes ma'am from here you are printing like okay got connection with this mm -hmm. and now from here you are sending data that data after getting encoded by ascii where it will come it yes, will yes. come and it will receive here what yes, i am yes, passing yes. here 1024 1024 is what one mbf data the data size like how many bytes of data i want to receive Yes, Correct. It is receiving and it is storing in this variable. Yes, yes, Correct. Yes, Now to print it, first of all we have to decode it. Yes, yes or no? So message yes, dot decode, decode with the same ask. technique ask. we have to decode. That is what ASCII. Correct. Yes, Now from here I am sending this message to server. s dot send here whatever data client want to send uh, send to the server and here again like i am using the encoding technique Take correct okay. and the same thing here server is receiving size is given here first it is receiving in this variable and after while printing it i am taking what msg dot decode with that same technique messages clear with that no ma'am yes. uh, like ah. it is uh, the three last three lines it is for client or uh, i didn't get this one ma'am last three lines it is same in the so client also no ma'am oh what i'm saying last two blocks you are having one is sending something another has to receive it correct yes ma'am yes ma'am yes now here it is sending here it has to receive okay yes or no yes, this is your server this is your client yes ma'am
so here i am sending to that client okay from server to client it will go this data okay so you proceed okay yes, and in client program it was receiving first yes ma'am correct now after that like in client program we are sending something and that this server has to receive here okay are you getting my point yes, and after receiving we are decoding it yes or no yes ma'am and then to close the connection with that client yes ma'am yes same way like that... we are closing the connection from this client, client side also like it yeah, is yeah. like close yeah. the connection with that server ha huh. here uh, so it, like message is equal to is start receive is there no ma'am ha this is for re reception and this is for sending no ma'am whatever this yes. one is there this ah. this where we are using this is which program client program client program client side we are receiving message why now nah, from the server we are server receiving. already sent the message we have received here correct so we are using this one correct and, and then, from uh, here we are sending it welcome that we are receiving that side okay clear with this yes sir sir everyone is clear with this funda yes or no yes ma'am any yes, confusion here no ma'am no, 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 no. no right now another thing you need to understand how you will run this program first how you will run this program first of all you want ip address correct yes ma'am how you will get ip address just go for your command from cmd cmd yes hit enter it will open command <coughs> correct right here ip config everyone is getting it It's many it. of you if you will write ip config and hit enter you will get so many interfaces here okay okay but you need to check if you are connected with uh, wifi then here wifi adapter or something it will show you that ip address you have to take for me it is having only one in, in uh, like interface for that so i'll take this ip address see ipv4 yes. address will be there i need to take that ip address yes ma'am ipv4 yes ma'am what I, ip address i have here 192.168.0.67 0.67 ma'am what i okay 192.168.33.290 yes ma'am let me open python share uh, and here do i have here any files server client uh, no i don't have just a second we'll copy this program where it is okay copy this one create one file here yes okay what is the ip address i have zero dot Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Correct. Ah, oh, why this? Sixty-seven. Correct. Yes, Let's say port number. I'm saying, uh, like two, three, eight, six, whatever it is. Okay. Yes, okay. This program, I'll save. Where I'm saving, this is your Python by default path. Okay. Just copy once this one. Okay. Here, uh, whatever file name you want to give, it just. make sure you are not giving the same name as your module name okay if you will write here socket na then whenever you will import socket it won't import the actual socket module oh because your files are modules only yes or no yes ma'am yes so now here make sure you are writing something like which cannot be your module name that's it so let's say server dot, uh, like i can say like tcp underscore ser so something like this are you getting my point yes or no yes ma'am okay 
I'll write like okay TCP underscore server program it is. I save that one. One more program I'll create. What it is? Client program. Correct. I'll copy this one. I'll paste here. What is the IP address? Zero sixty seven. Correct. And port number what I have given two two eight two four eight. Okay. I'll save this file. What name I'll give? TCP underscore client. Client. Okay. Same. Now, uh, what was the default path? Whatever here you are having now, that is your default path. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now I'll go to command prompt. Okay. I'll write here cd space whatever the path we are having. Why I have to write this yes. one? CD means what? Change directory. CD space whatever the default path we are having that we need to give because our server and client programs are inside that directory. So now you can say like here you are coming into that directory and after that you are having greater than symbol. Just make sure you are in the same path. Okay. Don't try anywhere else. Don't mix your commands. First, you have to change the directory, cd, space, whatever the Python by default path where you are having server and client program. Hit enter. So now you will be inside this directory before you were inside this administrator. Can you understand this much? Yes, ma'am. Everyone is clear with this? Yes, ma'am. Previously, ma you were inside administrator after giving this CD space, CD space path. path. Now you are in path. that by default path. Uh, Everyone is clear, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, one more command prompt you have to open CMD. Okay. Now, again, here also you ma need to go for that path, the by default path. Okay, ma'am. Correct. Everyone is clear with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma 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 Who is having issue? Joseph, Karunakar, Radhika, Vamshi. No, ma'am. Everyone is clear with this, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Okay. Now here, you need to write in one command prompt, you need to write Python space, just a second. Python space. What is your server program name? TCP, TCP underscore S E R S E R dot T Y. Correct. Okay. Yes, Make your command ready. Don't give enter now. Here down window. I'm giving here command Python space TCP. TCP underscore client correct yes, now both the place i have made my command ready just make sure you are writing in the same format Under, uh, what file name you have given you have to write the same file name okay okay now you need to run first this server program here just take your cursor and hit enter okay so now you can see your cursor is blinking here right yes ma'am without any error it is running your tcp server program now you have to come to your client command prompt here what this command you have given python space tcp underscore cli dot py there you have to hit enter. So what will happen? This client program will run, correct? When client program will run, at the time from client, you are trying to uh, send one connect request. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And on the server side, you are trying to accept that. Correct. And yes, after accepting on server side, you are printing like got connection from client IP address and the port number. Yes or no? Yes, yes. ma'am. After that from 
server side you are sending to the client like thank you for connecting so yes, yes here server uh, like client will receive that message and it will print that and okay. now you are sending from welcome. client side welcome 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 and it will come to the server side here and it will get received uh, it will get received here and it will print here yes or no yes ma'am yes now let's come to this command prompt i'll hit enter here for the client program okay. everyone is getting it yes or no for client Everyone is getting it, yes or no? Now, yes, yes, I am getting the same IP address as the server. Mm -hmm. Here, it should be client IP address, right? Yes. Yes. It yes, has to print here client's IP address. Why I am getting the same IP address here? Because it, maybe it is in the same uh, Obviously. system. Because I am running this client and server program in the same machine, mm -hmm. in the same system. Yes, ma'am. Yes, if you are having two different systems at a time and if you are in local network, yes, you will get the different IP address. Okay, ma'am. Everyone of you are getting it, yes or no? Yes. How to run this client and server program? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Should I continue? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll come out from this one. Okay, ma'am, we, uh, like, we cannot know uh, the name, no, ma'am? Like object name. Can it be printed, ma'am? How you will print? See. A same print. It's the same thing what we are doing now. Here. Let's say like client said if you want to print this object, what you will write here? Print S. That's it. Print S. Correct. So it will give you like this object. It is at which location or something like that it will give you. Okay. Are you getting my point? This one. Yes. Because the server will give the return the client object name, no, ma'am. Hmm. Object name to the client. Hmm. And that one, ma'am. Even that also. See, same like this one. Here also you are having this object, correct? Yes, ma'am. Right here, print. See. That's it. Yeah. Clear with that. Someone yes, else was asking anything. After accepting, it will uh, print the address of the client. Huh. So. Everyone is clear with these two programs, right? It's ma'am. Okay. Now, come back here. This, whatever we have seen, it was TCP communication, correct? Yes, ma'am. Now we are having UDP communication. Now, see, in UDP communication, we don't have any connection, okay? So, for connection, what are the functions we were having in TCP? See, we were having listen because we were writing here the signs, correct? Yes, ma'am. We were having accept because like whenever this connect request was coming, at that time, it was accepting the connection. Yes, yes or no? So, yes, these three functions are responsible, yes or no? Yes, for connection oriented this three functions are responsible yes <laughs> so this will not be there in UDP communication this will not be there this will not be there this will not be there okay Listen. now the question will be we don't how have to any send the, huh, without connection how we will send the data correct yes ma'am then how we will send the data so first of all, yes, obviously server has to bind the I means server has to announce their own IP address and the port number. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Obviously, that function we will be having here. Yes. 
so we are okay. having socket both the side yes it is that bind function will that be having there. server side because yes it is required server yes, has to say then only someone can send the data correct yes ma'am but client side we don't have that connect function correct yes ma'am and server side we don't have that accept function accept and no. listen yes, correct listen is also not there accept is also not there here client side connect is also not there not there so how we will transfer the data let's say like client want to send something okay so obviously whenever we want to send something we can pass the message and the ip address and port number pair yes or no what server has announced here that we can write in this send function Yes. Yes. Just look yes, into this. Yes. Just server. a second. Ah, uh, this is your server. This is your client program. Whenever we want to send something, what we are writing here? Send to whatever message you want to send. That should be in string format. That is here, and the other argument is the tuple. Which is having IP address and port number. IP address in string format. Port number is in integer. Integer format. Correct. These three lines are extra lines. No need to write in your program. But for like I have taken few variables here, right? Yes. So for printing purpose only, I have written here. If you are not writing, it's fine. No word. It is like giving you any error. Oh. Okay. okay. You can ignore these three lines. Okay. Mm. But here I have written here because like you can use somewhat like uh, whatever format specifiers are there. How to give the value for that ah, format yes, specifier? So that format purpose specifier. only I have mentioned here. Not nothing like else. Okay. Now I said first like you how to uh, mention the address family, and suppose if you are doing UDP communication, socket underscore datagram should be there. Correct. So whenever you are creating object, socket object, what you are writing? Socket dot socket, socket here. Dot socket. Inside socket, we are having this address family. So we are writing socket dot af underscore int. No. No. Other argument is inside socket we have soc underscore digram. Digram. Correct. So we are writing this one. That's it. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So this is client side. You are importing socket. You are creating object. Then from client side, you are trying to send some message. How you are sending? Send to. So How you are sending? Whatever the message you want, it can be binary or it can be like direct also. Oh. That is your choice. Okay. So here you are writing some message. That message you are passing here. As the first argument, second argument will be what tuple? What that tuple will be holding in IP format address. IP address in the integer format port port number of the server. Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and same thing on the server side. What you will be having? Receive. Server side same like we are importing, we are creating object, number. we are binding with the IP address and the port number. Correct. While true, here whatever function we are having, that is what, whatever the object name dot receive from. How many bytes of data you want to receive? Are you getting it? Yes or no? Yes. Even this yes, receive from function will return two arguments. Will return two values. First value will be what the data what you have received. And the other argument will be the IP address of the client. Clear with that? Okay. Because it is connectionless, you will not be having any object for that particular yes, client. Yes, Clear with that? Yes, ma'am. In the client, we are sending the data and the address of the server. Correct. So it is writing like uh, data, comma address data of the and address of the Client. Client. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Any doubts in this? No, ma'am. No. And after receiving this, we are saying like, okay, print that received data. 
yes, this bytes is like continued from here okay don't think like uh, it is one kind of statement yes, it is like buffer sizes 1024 bytes like that i have mentioned clear every one of you yes ma'am yes Okay. Ma'am, sir, here in server only receives, uh, like whether server only receives the message or will it send out uh, so No, you can send also, but the thing so will be the... same only, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The things will be same only. Mm -hmm. okay. See, how you are sending message here, like that you have to send message from the mm -hmm. client side, from the server That's side. Here sorry. you have to receive. That things you can try in lab. Ma'am. Yes. Uh, uh, why we are writing uh, IP address and port in separate statements, ma'am? Means. In, in previous session, we have written in the bind, no, ma'am. We can write uh, those. Uh, directly, directly this one. You can write here itself in place okay. of this UDP underscore IP. See, okay. this is. Now, one day by day, whenever you will try to make your programs, okay. you should write the program which is universal. Okay. Okay. So, whenever like next time you are writing that program for some other IP address, directly you need to change in this variable. That's it. Okay. You should not go and change your program, whole program. No. Okay. Here only. Okay. Yes, because it will be easy to identify what IP address you have given and if you want to change, it will be easy for you. Okay. But suppose if it is in program, then you need to go and search like where you have written that yes, IP address. Okay. Correct. Okay. So you should have such kind of habit. Okay. Clear with this? Okay. Now if you yeah. have to run this program, how you will run this program? First of all, Uh, first, we have to create file, correct? Let me create file here. What is the IP address? 0.67. 0 correct? Let's say port number is this one. Yes? Okay. Uh, save this one. Yes, yes, uh, what we will say? UDP, UDP underscore. Sorry. Uh, UDP underscore. Server. Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now, next program is we'll be having client program. Correct. Let me copy that. Get here, paste here. What I should write 0.67. Port number, both should be same. Correct. Save. Or what I should write UDP underscore client. Client. Correct. Okay. Now, what is the address that we will copy here? Okay. And we will open the command prompt. CD space, whatever. Uh -huh. CD space, CD whatever space the path. The path. Correct. Same way, yes, one ma more command prompt. One more command prompt. Again, CD, CD space, space, whatever path. the path. path. Correct. Now, we are... The this one name inside both the path correct yes. like by default path whatever the python is has. yes now first UDP we have to write what serve. python space udp underscore server here i am making ready python udp underscore client first which program we have to run client okay first Server we have to run. Yes. Now server, server is waiting. Now we have to run which program? Client. Client. So clear with that? Why it is coming in B format? Because we have written in binary format. That's it. Everyone is clear with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For server. Any doubts in today's class? No, no. Yes or yes or no? No, no, right? Clear. Yes, sir. So, can I hope like today you all will join the lab? 
राधिका करुणाकर पुनित वंशी Even I was Excellent. thinking I should ask sir like sir I'll leave from here you continue here only don't give them break. Correct, na? Okay, I'm fine. So you people just take like some break. Okay, I'll ask sir to start the class by four forty five. Okay, ma'am. Okay, but okay. make sure everyone is joining that class. I Means joining that uh, lab. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Thank you, everyone. You can leave the class. Thank you.